What's up guys, Meredith with Extreme Terrain and today we're checking out the Navos Gen 5 12.1 inch T-style radio fitting all 2005 to 2015 Toyota Tacoma. Now the factory head unit at this point is pretty dated and most of the time it's heavily lacking the capability that it could have to make your ride much more comfortable whether you're in your truck just on the weekends or put in some time into the driver's seat with an everyday commute. Now that's where this system comes into play offering a drastic change for the Tacoma Tacoma owner who not only wants some extra tech to enjoy their music and media on longer rides, but also to modernize the inside of their truck thanks to the updated features and refined appearance that this system brings to the table. This Navos unit will include a lot of features compared to your factory system, improving your driving experience, and I'll walk you through a full demo of those features in just a minute. Navigation is one of those big bonuses with the iGo Next Gen software that will do more than just provide a map, but help you just like your phone does with voice and visual directions, making it much easier to get places. Now, like most modern systems, this will also basically be a multimedia center to play music and video via USB. And because it's an Android system, you'll also have a separate access to popular Android apps in the Google Play Store. Now, the options are endless when it comes to entertainment with this system with all the apps that you're able to download, like Netflix, Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, Hulu, and much more right at your fingertips in the comfort of your own truck. Now, one of the best features is Z-Link, which is an app on the unit where you link your phone to be able to wirelessly use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is really notable considering that most units require you to plug in your phone to use those systems, while this one is completely hands-free, making it incredibly user-friendly. Now, with the included mic, you can also talk on the phone and enjoy all the other benefits of Bluetooth through the system, again, being completely hands-free. You can also utilize this as a hotspot, which is something that you don't see too often from a head unit, making it just one of the many cool features. This also integrates all of your climate controls being built right into the unit, and you're gonna have some tactile buttons on the side, but this is going to offer a very modern feel whenever you need to control your fans, AC, heat, temps, and more. The system will also be compatible with your factory backup camera if your Tacoma is equipped, just with a bigger screen to display it for better visibility, and you can even integrate accessory front and side cameras if you choose to add them to your Tacoma. The unit itself will be a lot larger than your factory system with a 12.1 inch HD touchscreen display with incredible graphics and even though it is pretty big, it still blends incredibly well with the rest of the dash thanks to the factory style bezel. Now, the system also has a high quality 4x45 watt amplifier with an included equalizer and it will have digital signal processing for super clean sound with whatever speaker system that you have in your truck. The software is also a big upgrade utilizing Android's 9.0 Pi operating system that is super responsive to the touch and again provides that refined feel of a premium head unit. It also boasts 64 gigabytes of memory, four gigabytes of RAM, HDMI outputs, five volt RCA pre-outs for your sound system and three USB inputs, which will just add to the capabilities of this head unit. This will also include some, again, some tactile buttons over on this side and switches to maintain factory functions so you don't have to sacrifice anything when upgrading to this system. Now this will come in at about $2,000 total for the price of the unit and the required shop install, making it more of a premium system compared to other options available. Now what I will say about this unit is that it really doesn't miss anything from navigation, multimedia, complete wireless capabilities, especially with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is huge compared to other systems, included Wi-Fi and the fact that it is going to be very big while also having a well-built and good-looking unit installed in your Tacoma. Now I think if you want a head unit that's not gonna have you compromising for any features and you don't have to question when it comes to the install, then this is gonna be a fantastic pick for you. Now install here is going to be effortless. I'm giving it a zero out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, considering all you have to do is drive your Tacoma to your local shop. I do want to mention that this radio may not be compatible with other brands of aftermarket CAN bus devices, such as tuners, start stop bypasses, OBD devices, speed calibrators, and a couple more. So just keep that in mind when you're checking out this system. Now what I will do though, is show you a full demonstration and walkthrough of how this system works and what exactly you can expect from your new Navos Gen 5 radio. Now, once you turn your Tacoma on, you'll be greeted with a home screen, and this is gonna have a couple shortcuts here. You'll have your navigation, your time, and your calendar, as well as a music shortcut down at the bottom. Now, you'll also be able to scroll over and see all of the apps that are downloaded onto this system. 
and that is going to be it for the home screen. Now up at the top, you'll have some shortcuts as well. You have your power, your night mode, your brightness. You have a shortcut for your equalizer. You also have your temperature and time as well as your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi signals. You also have your home button and your back button as well as seek and play and pause as well as volume. That stays at the top of the unit at all times. At the bottom is going to be your main menu. Uh, starting off, you will have a Chrome button that's going to be able to pull up your internet and Google, and you can browse the internet as you would any other computer or tablet. Our next one is video. It is disabled right now for safety. Also have your music. This is where you will be able to control your music if you're not using Z-Link, which we'll get to in just a second. Um, but any Android or Apple smartphone will be connected to Bluetooth and you'll be able to control it here with information down at the bottom. The next tab is our climate control. You will have some buttons on either side to be able to control your climate control, um, but you will have a shortcut and a window here um, in the device itself. You'll be able to turn it on. You have individual um, climates for the passenger and driver side, which you can control the temps. You have your AC and window defrosters up at the top. You'll be able to flip through the different modes. It does disappear um, because it is a pull-up menu, um, but you also have your fan controls. And you can put it back down with that arrow over at the side. Now our next tab is Bluetooth. This is where you can connect your Apple or your Android smartphone and be able to control all of your calls, your contacts, and have a special pin in order to connect your phone. The next tab is radio. This is self-explanatory um, and very familiar to really any head unit because you do have your AM and FM. You will have a lot of presets down at the bottom as far as shortcuts are concerned, but you will also have six customizable presets up at the top. Our next tab is Phone Link, and this is the Z-Link app that I spoke about. Um, this is gonna be your Android Auto or your Apple CarPlay, and again, it is going to be completely wireless, so all you would have to do is hook up your phone to Bluetooth, and it would automatically sync to the Z-Link. Now, for Android Auto, this is what it looks like when it comes to the home screen. You're going to have your Google Map up at the top, your temperature down at the lower left-hand corner, and you're gonna have your music application shortcut at the lower right-hand corner. At the lower left-hand corner, you'll have a shortcut for your applications. You'll also have a Google Assistant. And then some shortcuts for the main features of that home screen, which are your maps, your music application, your phone, and your settings. Along with Android Auto, again, you also will have Apple CarPlay. As you can see, if you are familiar with Apple CarPlay, this is the home screen. You'll have your maps up at the top. You'll also have your shortcuts for your navigation over on the left-hand corner, and then whatever music application that you choose to use on the lower right-hand corner. You'll also have a shortcut for all of your applications where you can scroll over and see them all. And then you'll have a couple shortcuts for your navigation, your music application, and your phone down at the bottom. Now this lower menu does scroll, so you will also have navigation, which is your Google Maps, You'll have Cirrus XM if your truck is equipped. You'll have your settings option. Another tab for your applications to see what is actually downloaded to the device, which again, you can access the Google Play Store and download really anything that you'd like. You'll have another tab for your equalizer. Um, this has multiple different controls where you can customize your sound inside of your truck. You also have your file manager and you'll also have your cameras. So again, you can add accessory cameras for front and side. If your Tacoma is equipped with a backup camera, you will be able to hook it up here. Ours is not, so you can see that there's no signal. But you can also add an accessory backup camera if your truck is not equipped from the factory. If you scroll over to the right, you'll also have another menu, which you can customize to whatever apps that you choose to place there. 
And then the last option when you scroll over is a shortcut down at the bottom for your climate control if you'd like to see your climate control all the time. And that's going to wrap it up for my review and the demonstration of the Navos Gen 5 at 12.1 inch T-style radio fitting all 2005 to 2015 Toyota Tacomas. And you can find this right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.